Hey guys, it's Charles with Shutterstock. In this video, I'm gonna cover five creative programs that you didn't know you needed for filmmaking. Or maybe you did know, this is still a good list of creative programs. A lot of these are free, and I'm gonna have links to all the programs and tutorials for them on the blog post. So check for that link in the description. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right guys, the first program I wanna mention is Google Earth Studio which is a browser-based animation tool for Google Earth satellite and 3D imagery. You can easily keyframe the 3D camera and output an animation, or use one of the quick start projects. You can even output animations to After Effects with tracking data, and then you can add in your own custom graphics. It's also free to use for news, research, education, and nonprofit use. If you guys wanna know more, check out Jason Boone's YouTube channel, Boone Loves Video. He has a ton of Google Earth Studio tutorials and he's an awesome resource for any map animations in Google Earth or After Effects. And you guys already know him from his content right here on Shutterstock and Premium Beat. Next up is the Cinematography Simulator, Cine Tracer, which can quickly be described as a video game that uses Unreal Engine to previs your video projects. It's also great for creating detailed storyboards because you're working with 3D models. You can experiment with lighting, camera options, and choose different locations and times of day to match your project. It's available to purchase from Steam and works on both Mac and PC. On our channel, Todd has a full tutorial using Cinetracer and his first impressions, so definitely go check out that video too. Next is Krita, which is a free open source painting program. You can use it for storyboards or creating hand-drawn 2D animations. You can experiment with a ton of different brush styles in it and it has a similar interface to that of like Photoshop. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. The YouTube channel KD Sketch has an awesome tutorial on getting started using Krita for animations. She also has a ton of other Krita tutorials and amazing animations on her channel as well. Next is Calvary. This is an application that focuses strictly on 2D animation. Because of this, you're gonna have a lot more options and creative control that you wouldn't have in After Effects, where a lot of times the settings feel a little more clunky. And if animating characters isn't your thing, Calvary has a built-in physics simulator, and it's great for creating HUD or menu animations. Calvary does have a free trial option, and it also has paid plans between $20 and $30 per month. Creative Dojo has an awesome video on his YouTube channel about getting started using Cavalry, and he shows a lot of unique features Cavalry offers over After Effects. Finally guys, I have to mention Unreal Engine, which is a real-time 3D game engine, but you can now think of it as a creation tool like any other 3D program. At this point, there's really no denying the benefits that something like Unreal Engine can bring to filmmakers and video creators, and we see it used all the time in bigger budget productions. Luckily, a good friend of mine, Jonathan Winbush, creates a ton of tutorial content for Unreal Engine on his YouTube channel, Winbush, and he just created a tutorial on how to get started using Unreal Engine 5 for School of Motion. I highly recommend checking that out. All right, guys, hopefully you found this list of software useful. Again, I'm gonna have links for everything I mentioned, plus more over on the Shutterstock blog post, so check for that link in the description. I'll catch you guys on the next one.